anyway, let's talk about hair. My hair. I have straight as a board hair. Like, it doesn't get any straighter than my hair, okay? So, um, and it's pretty thin. I do have a lot of hair, but it's thin. I rely a lot on product that works for my hair and then just trying new tools and things like that. So what I do is um, after I, I use pretty decent shampoo, I use good shampoo and conditioner. Um, and even though my hair is thin, it can get dry. But um, what I do is I just, when I get out of the shower, I use a root boost, okay? And I like this, um, let me just show y'all what I do. So Lange has a root boost, um, okay, let me back up. Everything that I'm gonna talk about, you can find in the link above, okay? So if you're interested in any of the products I use, if you're interested in the, um, in the hair think tool I'm about to use, they have a buy one get one half off sale that's going on right now so it's a perfect time to go ahead and try it but there's a root boost that they have so when my hair is wet i get out of the shower and i just i do this literally like root boost like on my roots i do a couple you know layers like that do it in here and just in the places where i need some volume and then um that's the main thing that i use but I also, this is one of my favorite things because my hair, as I've gotten older, y'all probably have noticed this, but my hair gets a little more dry, like everything does. Um, and so I use this oil. It's a nourishing gloss. Um, I know it's backwards, sorry. That's the only way it's gonna do. But anyway, it's just awesome. It smells so good. Okay, so I just put a little bit in my, in my hand, like one little pump. And I kind of do this and then I like work it through my hair um, and that kind of just I put it like on the ends to just give some nourishment and extra shine just to make my hair feel really um, healthy about that I'm not going to use too much right now because I have already have it on there um, so okay so those are kind of the things I use while my hair is wet and then I blow dry my hair and even if I'm gonna curl it like I'm showing you guys today I start with it this straight okay this is how my hair looks if I just straighten it. And okay, ladies, let's talk about this because if you're over 40, okay, amen. Um, and if you're some young little thing out there, I bless you. But um, I, back in the day when I was young, you would use this to straighten your hair and a curler. You would use a flat iron to flatten your hair and a curler to curl your hair. Anyway, a flat iron is like a magic tool and you can straighten your hair or curl it. And so that's kind of why it's cool to have because even though I have straight hair, I will straighten it some more on certain days when it likes just kind of wonky or whatever. But I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. Or I really don't curl it, I wave it. So I work in layers, okay? So I just kind of usually put this crown part up out of my way. Okay, and like I said, guys, I am seriously not like a professional hair person. So if you got extra tips, throw them my way because girlfriend can always use them. Okay, yeah, seriously, you love this straightener. Okay, so I want y'all to know that this is the third or fourth straightener that I've had in my life. I started off with a cheap straightener because I wasn't sure about all the straightener business. And I started off with a cheap straightener, and I will tell you there's a degree that you get what you pay for in hair straighteners, okay? So I kind of went up from there and got one I kind of liked, and I have one that I bought last year, and it was okay, but there was a couple things I didn't love about it. Um, it didn't have an automatic shut off, and I'm a crazy person who can't remember what I had for breakfast, so if you think I can remember to turn my um, flat iron off when I leave, you're not right. I, this one is the automatic shut off and it has a super long cord that swivels like, so you don't get all tangled up in your business. So I really like that. Okay. So what I do is I take little pieces, stretches of my hair and you kind of want to work, um, down. Does that make sense? Like you grab the pieces long ways and then it just depends on how long your hair is. If you have really long hair, you might start more like lower down. Um, but I need a little volume. So I kind of start a little bit higher and then you just do this and you kind of twirl it and then you just let it go. 
And the deal is this has this, I think y'all can't see, there's like this infrared line in the middle. And I didn't know all this technology stuff, but basically that helps seal in your um, the cuticle so that you don't fry your hair. Also, one more thing I forgot to share y'all. Okay, I already put this on my hair, but this is a must. Okay, so this has been the game changer on my hair. This is the Rival Heat Shield. So you're using a really hot iron and nowadays um, hair dryers are pretty hot. And so um, like this stuff saves your hair from getting fried. You just spray it on. And I've seen such a difference in my hair since I started using this. It makes a huge difference if you're gonna use heat tools on your hair. It's kind of like, I think one of the must haves. If you're gonna get anything today, you should grab that. Okay, so I'm just pulling my hair out little pieces at a time, and I'm just slowly turning it, and here's the kicker, away from your face, okay? So just think about like Farrah Fawcett, right? Like back in the 70s, my older ladies, let's go, my older girls, um, away from your face. And I kind of do the bottom layer, and then sometimes like I will come back and pull out a piece if I want it to have more curl at the top and add more curl, but I'll wait and see. Here's the deal, these plates slide like butter on your hair. You're not gonna like squeeze your hair in here, you just put it on there and it literally just like, it's like butter through your hair, okay? So, and then you just go around your head and like when you meet in the back, you flip directions. Does that make sense? And here's a weird question. Do y'all have one side of your head that does better than the other on your hair? Oh my gosh. Because this side of my hair is like, it's like the good kid, and then this is like the problem child, right? Like, does anybody else have that going on? Oh. Um, and I don't curl my hair every day, but it really, it just takes practice. And um, I feel like once you get the hang of it, you can really curl your hair um, pretty quick. That's kind of like my first row that I do. Okay, so I just kind of let that other layer back down and you can tell, it's hard. I'm like watching, I'm using this as my mirror when I need to kind of look in the mirror mirror to see what I'm doing. Um, so here's where, like I still have this little piece up because I'll show you how I do this, it's different. So if you stick with me, I'll show you how, to do, how I do the top of my head, a little bit different. But when you're framing your face, you gotta remember like, do you really wanna curl right up in your, you know, up to the top of your head or, I don't know, where do you want the curls? And look, we're not trying to be like, what is her name, Nellie Olson back in the Little House on the Prairie? I was thinking about that. You know, she had those big golden ringlets. <laughs> we're not gonna be Nellie, okay? We're just gonna be cute. So, um, okay, so see, like, my hair is curling well because of the product. You guys, um, product is like the lifeline to your hair. Um, and you can use a flat iron on all lengths of hair. If you have really short hair, if you have long hair, um, that's what I like about it. This one's called the Larev. So when you look up above, there's a link if you wanted to buy one. It's called the Larev and they have, okay, what's the other one's called? Or the, um, the LaGloss is the same as this, but it, the plates are fatter. So if you want to use it more for a straight iron, you can curl with it, but um, uh, it's a little, I think it's like fatter, it would do fatter curls, you know, so you probably would need to have a little bit longer hair to use that. And then they also have more of a starter kind of model of this, and it's called the Appletar, Appletier, you don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, <clears throat> so if you just want to try a flat iron, that's a good place to start. I don't think it has the automatic shut off. I think that's the like that's a little bit different. It doesn't have the infrared um, plate in the middle, which is a little bit different. But um, so it, it is. It's you know like this is just the upper model, and I love it. I don't burn myself on it. I mean it's hot, but it's a lot different. Like some of them will have where the plates are exposed on the sides, and it's really easy to burn yourself when the plates are exposed on the outside. That's how my last one was, and it was part of why I didn't like it, um, because I literally burnt myself all the time. Um, so, just FYI. So just take your hair, like I'm saying, you're gonna curl away from your face, you're going to um, kind of take it, and then 
twist it about one, one, one and a half times, and then just go down your hair. So it's a lot different from my older friends like me who are over 40 who used to curl and iron all of the days of their life. Like where you would take it and you would curl it this way. We're curling, you know, either this way or this way. So it's more of an up and down curl versus a, you know, old school curl. Okay. So, all right, we're getting to the end of the hair here because I don't have a ton of hair, but y'all will see how it'll look like I have a ton of hair and I need a haircut and I need my roots done. Can y'all see that loveliness? Just pretend you don't see that part. Um, okay, so there we go. Sweet little curls. And I know that it's, you know, you kind of feel like it's hard to get the back of your head, but it just takes practice. And um, you can totally do this. I mean, the first few times I did this, I looked like a crazy person, but it just, it works out. Okay, so I'm getting towards the front. And so I'm not going to start curling as high up on my hair as I had been. Okay, I want it to lay down a little bit smoother right here because look, I don't want it to be like a ringlet off the top of my head. So this kind of swag in my hair is going to be, I want it to be a little smoother. So, and you'll just have to play with your hair and, um, you know, kind of figure out what looks best on you and what works best for me. See how far I'm going down before I start to curl it. Um, and practice makes perfect. I'm all about hair, makeup, and shoes because girls, makeup and hair always makes you feel better, always makes you look better. And you don't have to go up a size. You don't have to like feel fat, am I right? So that's just my theory. And shoes, you rarely change shoe size, so. Um, how do I keep static outside of my head? out of my hair. Okay, so these are the products I used if you got on late. I have this nourishing gloss that I put on um, with on my wet hair and it helps just keep it from frizzing and that really helps. And then this is the heat shield that I feel like is like the most amazing thing ever to make your hair not get frizzy um, when you use this kind of heat on it. I missed a piece right here. Okay, so this is what I do next. I might do this different than other people because seriously, I'm not, I'm not a hairdresser. I'm just me. I'm just doing my hair. So I brush mine out. Okay. So I know some people like leave the curls kind of curly, but I, I, I do mine like this. And then what I start to do is, um, I either use sea salt spray. Okay. If you want kind of like a weathered, like a PC kind of look in your hair. You can spray it on your hand and like finger it through your hair. Um, or I just use hairspray and girls, I'm in Texas. So I tease my hair because it helps. So what I do is I just put a little bit back in the back. I put a little bit right here. This looks like a hot mess, but I promise it comes out in the end. I do a little bit in here. I do a little bit right here because it just kind of helps for my fine hair. Um, it kind of just helps my hair stay in place. Does that make sense as far as like not using product? So then I take this hairspray and which one is this one? This is a three-way hairspray. Okay, so I'm showing you guys this three-way hairspray and I lift it and I spray it everywhere. I don't just spray it on top. I'll show y'all the back in a second. So I spray it down to the root like that. Then I do spray it and I just kind of scrunch it. Okay, I just let it, and the, then the curls kind of come back together. And then you can kind of see like, did you miss this spot? I have this one spot I keep missing. It's like straight as a board. So um, I'll just go back and do that. There we go. And if you have some that are sticking out weird, you can just curl them at the end. I like some height on my head. So um, I will very often, since I have some layers, I will make sure that I bump the top of this like that just to get a little extra oomph. Um, I just don't like to do it right on the top of my head, like right on top of my face. So yeah, y'all tell me what your favorite products are if you have some already. because. 
I always like to try new things and I want to try know what I should try next but this is this is what works for me right now um, I like for my hair to be smooth I don't like it to be ratty so even though I do the um, the little bit of teasing I still comb it out on top that makes sense and then do that so okay here's the back I probably should look at it make sure I didn't miss any big wads of hair okay Okay, can y'all see? Can y'all see? That's the back. And that's kind of my hair, that's it. It's really pretty easy. It looks really cute when you um, tuck it back. Um, or sometimes if I just like put a little pin, like a little um, barrette or something in it. Um, it's so much fun. So if you want to copy this whole shebang right here, this one is what I have. It's the um, Lange uh, Le Rev. It's my favorite. It's super, it's like the Cadillac of flat irons. But I do also think it's like a multi deal where you have to have good product. That's just my personal belief, like a root boost or something like that if you have really flat hair. But I hope y'all liked this hair tutorial. It was just something fun um, and different from the DIYs that I normally do. But if you like those too, then I would love for you to stick around and follow Kim at Salvage Living if you're new here. Because I do tons of easy, quick DIYs.